President of the National Labour Congress, NLC, Joel Jairo, has urged the federal government to urgently address hunger and economic hardship in the country. Jairo said this on Tuesday night after the suspension of further street protests by the NLC. Speaking in Abuja, Ajayro expressed appreciation to Nigerian workers and masses for sending a strong message to the government with Tuesday's nationwide protest that they are united in their resolve to demand accountability. Acknowledging the overwhelming success of the first day of the protest in achieving its objectives, the next session we convened yesterday and decided to suspend street actions for the second day and ordered that the protest continues nationwide through simultaneous press conferences and activities restricted to <coughs> all our sectors in the 36 states of the Federation. Furthermore, the NEC extended the ultimatum by two weeks during this period. The government is expected to implement all agreements reached, in, on, reached on the October 2nd meeting. If the government fails to comply within the specified time frame, the NEC will convene again, decide on further lines of action. The NLC remains steadfast in his commitment to defending and promoting the interests of Nigerian workers and the downtrodden masses who will not succumb to intimidation, who will not yield to harassment. We will keep the interests of Nigerian workers and the people at the heart of our actions all of the time. Meanwhile, in Lagos, chairperson of the NLC in the state, Olufumilayo Sesi Akinsomi, has said Tuesday's protest spurred action from the government. She urges Governor Babajide Sonwolu to improve aspects of the state's economy. Mr. Sonwolu, sir, we also want to appeal, sir, that some of the workers in Lagos state, the tax and the taxation on their salary is killing. Please. Help us to look into this tax and with a view to re reducing and reviewing the taxes on the salary of the workers. We are also asking that with the economic situation and economic downturn and the inflation, which has been on the high, that the VAT and the taxes on the goods and services should be reduced so that all this will be affordable for Lagosians. We are also asking that the governor, through the Lagos security, should continue to tighten every loose ends on security of lives and properties in Lagos.